This is an Xbox One S Faulty that I purchased off of eBay for £50. The listing states it's a Faulty HDMI port on the back of the console. We're going to check that out right now and get this console apart. You can see by looking into the port how much it actually wiggles. It's very, very loose from the board and it's pried up a little bit compared to the other one, which is completely solid. The console itself is unopened and I've never done a HDMI replacement on an Xbox One S. These are replacement HDMI ports. It was £3.95 for one. I bought three for £11.85 just in case I mess up. I've now managed to get most of the dust off this board so it looks a lot better. It's in good enough condition to get it under the scope and check out exactly what's going on with this HDMI port. Let's get this board under the scope and see what's going on. What I want to know first off is if the pads are ripped or whether the port has just come loose. It looks like all the pads are still intact, which to me is amazing <laughs> and doesn't really make sense. Our first job is probably going to be to remove the port, we should definitely get that off and just tidy up the area around it. I've not done a port replacement for HDMI, I don't think on any console yet. So again, massive first for a Joey Does Tech video. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think the way I'm gonna tackle this is to apply low melt solder on each of the holding pins just to bring the temperature of the solder down and then we should be able to get it off. I don't need to put any on the front because obviously these are all done in anyways. So this is just gonna fall off. And then we can have a look at the real damage in a second. I'll be applying a little bit of flux to both of these joints here. I've got my low melt solder here as well. It's pretty thick stuff, but it does the job. Almost forgot to have a new fume extractor as well. So we're getting that on. 40 pound from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description. Firstly, that fume extractor really, really helps. Secondly, I don't think that's a bad job. I'm gonna go back to the overhead camera now so you guys can see me take the port out. I'm going 480 degrees Celsius with an airflow speed of six out of eight to just get this port off as quick as possible. My camera has literally cut out as it's come off, as the port has come off. Um, but yeah, it looks like a really, it looks like a good pull to be honest. It doesn't look that damaged, but again, until we get it under the scope for the second time, we'll only be able to see. And because I've already put leaded solder on, we should be okay to just add some flux and wick it up, but let's see. Looking at this, pad-wise, we seem to be okay, which I'm very shocked at, considering that this port had clearly been yanked off somehow. So what we're gonna do is just take some IPA and cotton buds and toothbrush and just give this a real quick clean around the, the whole area just to get any loose flux off the board so we can make this as clean as possible. After cleaning, you can clearly see that we are, in fact, missing a pad, and that's the end one, which seems to go down here. I might be able to just run a jumper wire from here to around about here and then use some conformal coating this side and this side just to secure it in place. So we'll give that a go. Let's get all the solder off the board.
but this is the back of the port which I think looks pretty tidy in my opinion I'm really happy with that and then the front I think equally as happy to be honest except for that little mark there this little mark here I'm not I'm not massively happy with because it would have been really clean if it wasn't for that obviously the rip trace I can't do much about that but now I'm gonna take some copper wire and I'm just gonna solder it onto here and then put it around about here and then I'm just gonna put a dab the tiniest amount of conformal coating here hopefully will be good that okay time for the uv so this is solder mask that i've put on and it's i mean this stuff gets everywhere dude solder mask for me anyway just seems to get everywhere the uv light cures it and makes it pretty much rock solid so if i prod it now already then <laughs> rock solid more like plastic solid this came up in a big bunch i think i need to add a little bit more maybe i was a little too scarce with it Sometimes I know that it, you can have too much solder mask. I don't think that's going to be an issue. It's not raised too much, so I don't think it's going to affect the port sitting on the board. Let's have a look. Personally, I think horrendous job. The only <laughs> the only good one that I can see is, uh, I'd probably say that is probably the best one out of all of them, and even that is ugly. I think I definitely had the wrong tip on. Um, this one, this seems to be solid-ish. I'm gonna tack this down with so much uh, conformal coating afterwards. I just wanna make sure that it actually works. So I'm gonna now just nudge every pin. Just using these tweezers to make sure. This one's obviously gonna, oh no, it doesn't move, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. They all seem soldered to some extent, uh, which is good. I think there's a little bit of like flux here. That's not bridge soldered, but it doesn't look to be any bridges underneath. Looks fine. I think this bit is the most satisfying for me personally, and that's just filling in the ground holes, man. I don't know why I feel, I don't know why I love it so much. So the same for these two over here as well, so I just need to fill these in. That one's a bit big, that one's good, that one's good, that one's a little bit maybe too small. There we go, 
It seems a lot better. Right, now for the fun part. Let's put it back together and see if this actually works. Just cleaning off the thermal paste, the old thermal paste. Very nervous right now. I'm just plugging in the HDMI. This HDMI is actually connected to a capture card. So hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see on the screen. I'm just about to connect it now. HDMI cable's in, console's not on. I'm turning it on now. Wish me luck, come on guys. I also don't know if there's any other faults with this console because they weren't able to tell. Cheers. Let me quickly check and just make sure that 1080p is fine. So 720 at the moment. 1080p option is there. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay. Wicked. All that's left to do now is give this a decent clean. I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks so much cleaner than what it did before. Hello. This Xbox, other than a little bit of dust on the fan, is all ready to go. I've played some games. We're all good. I'm just resetting it ready for selling. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Peace. That's actually a really evil piece. Bye. Happy Joey.